Parang! The power and the glory on display in Moscow's Red Square, where the country's leaders come to display the nation's might. And echoes from the past are returning. In Washington, too, memories resurface of a war they thought they'd already won. They are the focus of evil in the modern world. Now it seems the Cold War is coming back. The uh, situation is very dangerous. Uh, what's going on in Syria, I think, is very threatening. I think there's a real possibility of a confrontation, a military confrontation. In recent months, the relationship has disintegrated. The merciless bombing of Aleppo and other acts, like computer hacking and the destruction of a civilian airliner, have all been blamed on Russia. The Americans don't sound so diplomatic anymore. These are acts that beg for an appropriate investigation of war crimes. In response, the Russians have gone on the attack. Allegations of war crimes? That's crazy propaganda, says their fiery spokeswoman. Thirty years ago, the Cold War was beginning to thaw. The two superpowers met in a house in Iceland to talk about disarmament. A former Soviet journalist remembers it well. In fact, he was off to commemorate the event when we spoke. It's almost sad when you think back back then how hopeful everyone was and what we have today. But I do want to take part in that uh, celebration and perhaps that might do something to change the atmosphere. It's unlikely to work. Current tensions are amplified on TV and online. You got to get them. You got to get them like this. OK, yeah. look, you're a guy who used to remove fingernails from people, OK, as a KGB interrogator. How's the best way to get my thumb fingernail off? What do you use, a nail file? You got to, you got to, you got to shake him up. The Russian media sees things differently. In fact, there's only one story to tell. And it's pumped out by a multitude of media operations like this one, called SET. From its hipster office, employees produce pro-Putin art, clothes, and video. In fact, they beamed Soviet tanks on the front of the White House last year. Perhaps that's why they got £190,000 in presidential grants over the past two years. Is the world ready for the new Cold War? It seems it's already started. The Russian president says he won't be blackmailed. The Americans reply, our patience is shot. John Sparks, Sky News in Moscow.